Uh, you know, kind of you know, with not much time to prepare. Not sure if it would matter, but you know, Lincoln Memorial's really good, and uh, you know, you, they they got four really good players that you know, all of them are difference makers on any team. But they would they would be unbelievable. You know, they're they're really good. Uh, they move the ball. They, they play well together. Um, they're just they're a tough team. So I thought you know. Eh. We started off, you know, first couple of minutes, I was like, all right. And then, you know, they, they went on two, two, three, four huge runs. And, you know, they set the tone and that was it pretty much, I thought, you know. But I, you know, I thought our guys still played hard, you know, and kept playing. And that's all I could ask after, you know, they got up about 30 or whatever it was. But, um, you know, they, they kept playing. And, I, you know, that, that kind of, you know, that game doesn't sum up our season. Um, so that's that's the beauty of it. But you know, LMU is really good, and I mean, that's why they're number one in the country. So. You know, obviously, you guys kind of talk about. I know it's close to the season just coming to an end, but talk about the season and what it was like for you to all go through it together. Oh uh, well, for this being my final season, um, it was the best season I had at Clayton State. You know, we got better each season. We had a better team. Um, we just had a close bond this year. We were on a 14-game winning streak. And it was like uh, we just had to hold each other accountable. Uh, it's a family at Clayton State, and that's one of the biggest things that Coach Link preaches on. Like, you got to stay together no matter what. Uh, just to piggyback off Ted, you know, each year we got better, and this year was the best year we had. It was all about doing whatever we can just to not just to go to the championship. Like, we always working hard, and this, this is the best group of guys I had this year. And they, every time we touch the floor, we got each other better. And that, I love those guys. What does this do for the program, though, to make it back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 10 years? What does that do going forward? Uh, I mean, I, I think now, even in recruiting, it gets better. Um, you know, we're starting to name, make a name again. You know, from back when Gibbon, Coach Gibbons was here in like 07, 08, we're starting to, you know, get – you know, different difference makers, and that started with these guys being the seniors. You know, to to end that after having them for three years. But um, you know, us returning on paper four starters, um, and 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 you know, bringing in going to bring in obviously even better players and, and get better at, at a, you know, so we can compete at a high level. So it's going to be really good for our program, obviously. So. <laughs> What would you guys say to some some of the new recruits coming in, the guys that are coming back next year? What would you say to them, you know, coming off this season and heading into the next season? Um, when you come to Clayton State, is a reason you come here. You gotta understand, we were the number one team in the conference. So next year, y'all have to act like y'all the number one team. You gonna have a target on your back. People gonna want to beat you. Not just the conference, but conference, but. We were number four in the region. We belonged here. So teams, when teams see us on their schedule, they're going to want to come at us. So you have to work off season. And when it comes to the season, you have to show the reason why you're here. And the players that's returning, they already know the standard we set. Uh, like Coach Link preached, we didn't come here to the national tournament just to come and play. We came because we wanted to win. We wanted to keep going. Our next goal was the Elite Eight. We didn't make it there, but I felt like we gave it our all and we left it out there. So the new new recruits coming in, you have to know it's a high standard here at Clayton State, and that you're here to win. Talk about that senior class, Coach. Obviously, they tied the Division Two era record for wins, one away from tying the program record all, all, all told for wins. Yeah. Just talk about that group. Uh, these two guys, they're only seniors, um, but they're <laughs> they're amazing. Um, you know, he, I got to coach him. I got, he got here, he was a sophomore year, and I got three years with him. And he, like this year, you know, he was the most selfless person. He was a thousand point scorer. I brought him, I brought him to the bench. He never one time, he could have said to me, hey, coach, I, I'm a senior. I, I want to start. And, and it could, and it would have been an easy, easy conversation that, yeah, you're going to start. It's cool. It's fine. And he never said that, you know, because he knew how special we could be before we ever went on a run and on a 14-game winning streak before that. And he didn't do that. And he came off the bench as a senior, four-year starter, three-year starter as a senior. And that's where I thought, and him coming off the bench, 
we just got better and we were a better team because of it. And then him, uh, Nate, came with me from Payne. He transferred with me. And he was a role-playing point guard that ended up becoming an all-conference first-team player. He was unbelievable. He had almost triple doubles like three or four games in a row, almost. And, um, you know, and then leadership-wise, they're the best leaders I've ever had. Um, there's not even a question. I'm not even just saying this because I'm in front of them. They're the best leaders I've ever had. And they're special. And I told those guys in there. And they know it. Those players actually played harder, I think, for their teammates. And that was what was really cool.